Now my family, whenever it is either Harry or Megan or Archie or Lilibet's birthday, we always take the time to my family eat a birthday cake in honor of Megan, Prince Archie, Princess Lilibet, and also Prince Harry's birthday. And my family, once again, this time, it is Megan's birthday. And we are going to sing her happy birthday, Megan. That's what we are going to sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Now, my family, you all know that next month on uh, September, actually, my, thank goodness, my, Cake dinner fall. We all know that next month on September, it is gonna be Harry's birthday as well. And my family, we cannot wait to also mark Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex birthday. We cannot wait to mark it, my family. And uh I wanted to spend this time reading your comments whereby you have wished. Megan, happy birthday. And my family, before that, let us, uh, you know, eat this passion cake, my family. You know, and I got this cake so I could, just for this occasion, to mark Megan's birthday. Mm. Nice. Well, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Wow. And the cherry on top. You know, with the cake. Wow. Now, my family, let me read you, you know, comments from you that you wished Megan happy birthday. Now, Lydia Washington said, happy birthday, Duchess. Thank you, Lydia, for wishing Megan happy birthday. Maria Ware said, Happy birthday to you, African Princess Megan. You are an inspiration to the world, a huge legacy to your beautiful children and to the world. Hold your head up high. You are a gift from God. Hate cannot compete with love. God is love. God is love. Indeed, God is love. Thank you so much, Maria, for she Megan a happy birthday. And Megan is an amazing mom to our kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. And you only have to hear how Megan speaks of her kids. You know, for example, my family in the interview that Megan did with CBS, she gushed about her amazing kids, you know, and how she wants to protect them as a mom. And we've seen with our own two eyes how Harry and Meghan protect their kids. Harry and Meghan do a good job at protecting their kids. The trolls online, UK media, get upset. They get angry because Harry and Meghan protect their children's privacy. You know, imagine that. Someone is angry at you because you are protecting your kids' privacy. You know, because I believe that UK media and uh, trolls online just want to see Archie and Lilibet. That way they can, my family, pit them against their cousins, George, Louis, and Charlotte, and paint them, Archie and Lilibet, who are mixed race in a very, very negative light, just as they did to Megan. You know? But my family, Harry and Megan, are protecting their kids. And they're doing a remarkable job. Harry and Meghan are doing a very, very remarkable job. So thank you. Thank you, Harry and Meghan. Thank you, Harry and Meghan, for 
what you do for your amazing kids. You know, I've always said that Harry, for example, in particular, he comes from a very, very dysfunctional family. And what the event of being called, you know, a family, you know? In the words of the late King George, he said about Britain's royal family, we are not a family. We are a farm, a business, more like a business, my family. Whereby they're hell-bent on self-preservation. And to them, it doesn't matter who they have to sacrifice. They will sacrifice their own if it means survival. And sadly, what they've done to the late Diana, Harry's late mother, and also Harry and Meghan, and Archie and Lilibet, has been appalling. It has been appalling to watch how Archie, Lilibet, Meghan, and Harry have been treated by the institution, have been treated by the head of the institution, Charles, my family. You know, Charles claims to care about Archie and uh, Lilibet. That's what he's saying. He says he cares about Archie and um, Lilibet. But then, how do you claim to care about Archie and Lilibet, yet you have never ever uttered just one word to condemn the racism that Archie has experienced. In fact, we now know that Charles and Kate were two of the senior members of the royal family who are concerned about Archie's skin color. So whenever I see Charles saying, oh, you know what, I am tired of the video calls, I am tired of the video calls, I want to see Archie and Lily Betana, I'm going to do everything in my, in my power to find a way to have them in my lives, like what he's been briefing the press. And yet, from even the People magazine so-called exclusive, it has been revealed that Charles does not take Harry's phone call. So if you are not taking the phone call of Archie's father, Lilibet's father, how do you expect, how do you expect to be close to Archie and Lilibet Dan? How? How? If you are mistreating Archie's mother and Lilibet's mother, how do you expect to be close to Archie and Lilibet Dan? You know, the only thing that Charles cares about is how he is perceived, you know, online, of how UK media cover him. That's all Charles cares about. That's all he really cares about. But to Harry and Meghan, the one thing they care about so, so deeply are their kids, and they protect them with everything that they have. You know, let me read some more comments and family, please, Kylie. You know, now my family, someone else said that um, Megan have her fabulous birthday. You know, Harry, keep up on your willpower and in protecting your small family. You know, you know I've always said that one thing that us members of the squad at Mass so much about Prince Harry, you know, is what he's doing to protect his family. You know, and uh, we appreciate let me just have a bite here, you know. We appreciate the length that Harry has gone to to protect, you know, his family, you know. We appreciate the length that Harry has gone to to protect, you know, his family. It's happy birthday, right? I just put some cream on my face. We appreciate the lengths that Prince Harry has gone to protect his young family, you know, and... May he continue protecting his family. Now, someone called Sweet Salty Pepper Veil posted on our YouTube channel that comment. Thank you, Sweet Salty Pepper Veil. Veil, sorry. And um, someone called Fo Anne Anne said, uh, Bless Brian and all Sussex squaddies. Thank you so much, Anne. Thank you so much, Anne. And um, Sharon McDaniel said, Happy birthday, my Princess Megan, we love you so much. Yes, we love you, Megan. Joe Johnson said, Happy birthday to you, sweet Megan. Happy birthday, Princess Megan. Happy birthday to our Duchess. Wishing you all that you wish yourself and much more. Continue enjoying your life as 
you wish. You know, yesterday I saw the interview that Megan did with CBS, whereby she said that one way that she has been able to heal from the pain that uh, she has experienced, or the pain that she has endured, you know, is that she has been able to heal by opening up about her experiences, for example, in the royal family. That has enabled Megan to heal. And my family, you know, seeing Megan speak about what she endured, whereby even Megan said she hasn't even scrubbed the surface with her experience, my family. She hasn't said more on what she endured because there are things that Megan clearly went through that she has not talked about. I learned that truly there must have been something bad, really, really bad, that William, Charles, Kate, and Camilla must have done to Megan that Megan, you know, even struggles to talk about, you know? And that's why I even believe, no wonder we saw William and Charles somehow briefing this lie that Megan is a bully before the Oprah interview to try and silence Megan using lies by telling lies about her. And yet, we all saw that during the Oprah interview, Megan clearly held back. Even Taylor Perry said she held back. She held back. Meaning there were worse things that happened to her that Megan did not talk about. That Megan has been unable to share. And, and even no wonder Harry himself was asking the farm to apologize to Megan. There must have been something that happened that Megan has not said. That Harry even himself has not shared. You know? I mean, why did Prince Harry specifically say to the royal family in an interview with Bryony Gordon's The Telegraph, why did he ask the royal family, William, Charles, K. Camilla, who read the tabloids and The Telegraph, why did he asked them to apologize to Megan. There must have been something that Harry and Megan have not mentioned that really happened to Megan, which must have been very terrible. And my family, I do hope that Megan keeps on healing, keeps on healing. I hope that Megan keeps on healing, my family, because she has gone through a lot. And let me just say, you know, Megan, we are with you. Megan, we are with you. And just know that you are not alone. You are never, ever alone. My family, someone else said that um, no matter what jealousy, you know, Harry and Meghan will keep on prospering in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Rosaline Mayston. Thank you so much, Rosaline. You know, let me read a couple of more comments also. Happy, happy, happy. Birthday, my queen of all queens. God bless you. Julie Mensa posted on our YouTube channel. Thank you, Prince Harry, for being a real man, protecting his family and fighting for the people of the UK against press intrusion into their lives. Someone called Reba Henderson said, a member of our family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Reba Henderson, my family. Once again, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. May you live a life full of happiness, full of joy, full of thriving each and every single day of your life for the rest of your life. No? Full of happiness. May you and Harry always be united. In love forever, never, never, and may nothing ever break you two apart. You know, you know, my family. The reason why I keep uh, saying oftenly in my videos, and I know that this has grabbed your attention, that uh, the royal family wants to destroy her image because that's what they want to do, and every single day they try to do it. With their constant attacks towards Harry and especially towards Megan. Remember, as Harry said in his interview with um, Stephen Colbert, Harry said that 
the farm, their plan was for Megan to leave. That was the goal. That was the agenda. For Megan to leave. They never ever expected or wanted for Prince Harry to leave. That was not in the farm's plans. The bullying and the abuse was meant to drive Megan away. When Harry and Megan got married, they became extremely influential, powerful, more popular than William and Kim Morton when they got together. And that triggered jealousy from William and Kim Morton. And the firm wanted everything to go back to how it was supposed to be. And that is, William and Kim Morton are the ones who are supposed to be more popular than Harry and Meghan. But that isn't the case, even right now. Despite the lies and smear campaign towards Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan are clearly way more popular than William and Kim Morton. You know, and that's why UK media are more focused, more invested on Harry and Meghan than they are on William and Kim Morton. You know, remember also their attacks on Harry and Meghan is it's about the money, it's about how much money they make. You know, and clearly UK media have made a fortune from the hate campaign towards Meghan. They made a fortune from it, and uh, we keep demanding that they stop this business model of hate and just let Meghan and Harry. Live in peace, love each other in peace, and raise their kids in peace. UK media and the farm must stop their attempts at trying to destroy Harry Megan's union and destroy Archie and Lilibet's lives. Archie and Lilibet deserve to have both parents living under the same roof. So it's high time that UK media and the farm stop trying to separate Harry and Meghan and Meghan and Prince Harry. You know, my family, I'm thankful that Prince Harry saw what was happening and took Meghan and Archie out of the UK. He chose his family. He chose his family. He chose Megan, Archie, and now they have Lilibet. And Harry will always pick them. And no wonder UK media, clothes online, curtains online, are always angry because whenever they keep on asking Harry to choose, Harry always chooses his family. Megan, Archie, Lilibet, Diana. You know, and that angers some people. The thing is, that's what you need to do. You know, when you get married, you know, your priority shifts. Your priority becomes, you know, basically focusing on your own family, the family that you are building, the family that you are creating. What we are seeing happening with the UK media and the farm is that they want Harry to focus more on his abusers back in the UK, on William, Charles, K. Camilla. And they want him to somehow not focus on his own family, Megan, Archie Lilibet. You know? You know, I remember when Harry said, I have my own family. In an interview with, uh, I think it was ABC, if I'm not mistaken, or, or something. You know, in the interview he did in Vancouver. Whereby he says, I have my own family now. I remember, you know, seeing on Jeremy Vine show, someone saying that, you know, Harry, you are part of a larger family. You are part of a larger family. Nonsense. 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 Harry's priority as a husband and a, fa and a father should be towards his own family. Should be towards his own family. Towards Megan. Towards Archie. Towards Lily Bedana. That should be his priority. But, but you've noticed, UK Media don't want that to be Harry's priority. Don't want Harry's family, Megan, Archie, Lily Bedana, to be Harry's priority. And I've always said that one way that UK Media hope to destroy the spare Prince Harry, like they've done to other spares in history, is by destroying his family. Prince Harry, please, here is my message to you over and over again. Don't let them destroy your family. Don't. Don't let William, who's married to Kate Milton and has kids, don't let him destroy your family. Don't let Charles, who's a failure as a father to you, and a failure as a grandfather to Archie and Lilibet. Don't let him destroy your family. The family you have created and established for yourself. Don't let him, Harry. Don't let him destroy your family. Protect your family, Harry. Protect them. Protect Megan, Archie, Lilibet, Anna. Keep protecting them. And that's why I like it whenever I, I see, for example, in court. Or even in statements Harry makes. He keeps on showing through actions, there is nothing he won't do to protect his family. A few days ago, Harry revealed 
is that, you know what, one of the reasons as to why he won't bring Mega to the UK is because it's unsafe. Because he fears a, a knife attack or an acid attack towards the woman he loves. Because of the hate that UK media have whipped up in people. And my family right now, we are seeing so much violence in Britain. So much violence right now. My family, I have showed you videos of what's going on in the UK. You can even do a simple Google search of what's happening right now in the UK. There are, there are riots. Well, by far-right racists are showing the entire world that indeed there is racism in Britain. My family. So whoever denied that uh, Britain is not a country that is racist, please right now do a simple Google search on what's going on in Britain. Do a simple Google search. I challenge you to do a simple Google search. You know, I remember the former Prime Minister of uh, the UK. His name is, what's his name? His name is uh, Rishi Sunak, my family. He said that Britain is not a racist country, that he's an example. And then a couple of days later, he was confessing that he himself was experiencing racism. You know, just a, just a couple of days later. You know, that's what he said. And what we are seeing right now with the violence in the UK, we are seeing so much racism. We are seeing people of color being targeted. We have seen minorities being targeted. And it is painful to see. It is painful to see. And we must keep on condemning hate. And all this hate has been brought up because of the British media. The headlines that they write, full of hate. And that has got to end. And that's why there needs to be reforms in my family, the UK media landscape. There needs to be reform. There needs to be reform. Something has got to change. Something has got to change. And we must all unite and condemn racism in the strongest terms possible. Which is what we've been doing for quite a very long time. And we all saw a mega experience in the UK. Racism. No matter how many times her abusers deny it, the fact is Megan was subjected to immense racism from the UK media and from senior members of the royal family. We all saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw Archie also being subjected to racism. You know? I saw that. And I do hope that Megan and Harry keep on healing from the pain that they have experienced at the hands of UK media and also senior members of the royal family. I do hope that Harry Megan keep on healing. And Megan, enjoy your birthday. Enjoy your birthday. Have a good time, Megan, and keep healing. We are with you. You know? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Now, Claudia says, happy birthday, dear Megan. Claudia Sanchez. Karine Lovely says, happy, glorious birthday. Our fearless fighter. Arise and shine. Wow. The Lord has destroyed those who orchestrated against you. All eyes will see you blessed. Wow. Generation upon generation will come in to read about your victory. Wow, I like that. Your laughter, the brightness of your glory, see no end. You are blessed and highly favored by God. Happy birthday in advance, our princess, Karine Lovely. Wow, thank you, Karine. Thank you, Karine, for your amazing birthday wishes to Megan. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You've also blessed Megan. Thank you, Karine. Thank you, Karine. And you know, thank you so much. So, Brina Dixon says, says happy birthday. To Prince Archie's and Princess Elizabeth Diana's mama, Megan. May your light always shine as bright as your smile. May you surround yourself with an abundance of love from your family and friends. May you have as many, you know, kisses as possible from the two cutest ginger snaps ever. And may you always remember how much you are loved. By your prince in peace and harmony. 
Thank you, Suprina. Thank you, Suprina. Essie says, happy birthday, Megan. You know, Marie says, happy birthday, Megan. May God bless you. You know, my family, amazing birthday wishes for Megan here that I'm seeing. And thank you once again to everyone who's wishing Megan happy birthday. MJB says, happy birthday, Duchess. Tracy Sharp says, happy birthday, Princess. You look fabulous. Happy birthday, love. Many blessings to you, says Patrice Jones. You know, Rose, Rose Green says, blessing squaddies. You know, Florence Chili Younger says that, good morning, my family. Happy birthday to the strongest woman I know. Princess, you are my rock, my strength, and my motivation. When I look at the things you had to overcome back there, you are the example of strength. We, your squaddies, are so proud of you and wish you well and God, God's blessings forever as and ever as you celebrate this great milestone. We wish you happiness and love. Indeed, Megan, we wish you happiness and so much love. Happy birthday, Megan, and blessings to you and your beautiful family, says Karen McNeil. John Jenkins says, Happy birthday to Her Royal Highness, Princess Megan. May Almighty God keep on blessing you and protect your endeavors, being an advocate for humanity. Jane Stevenson says, Happy birthday. Mary Hate says, Hi, Brian Squadies. I can't understand why. Harry Megan are reluctant to show those cutie pies. Those derangers are extremely, you know, of course, as you all know, racist. Those who target Megan and uh, her kids. Someone called Dan said that happy birthday, beautiful Megan, little sis. You know, someone says that, you know, Alan says happy birthday, Princess Megan. Indeed, happy birthday to you, our beautiful, gorgeous Princess Megan. Just know how much we love you. How much you are loved abundantly. Let me read a couple of more comments, my family. You know, once again, um, Lydia Washington says, May our Duchess find peace and full healing. She suffered and continues to be attacked, but still she rises. Happy birthday, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Bless Brian and all the Sussex squaddies. Thank you so much, you know, Anne. Harry and Megan are such noble people. They do good for others. May your birthday be sunny and feel of, full of joy. Dear Duchess Megan, we love you. Indeed, thank you so much. Thank you so much, you know, for that. Thank you so much for that. Harry and Megan are such noble people. They do good for others. May your birthday be sunny and full of joy. Dear Duchess Megan, have birthday Megan, that is Sussex said, joy, Zhang. You know? Someone else said this. Um, Mama Jane says, May the Almighty God continue his blessings on them. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mama Jane. And also, Viviana said, Megan, the Duchess, also six has won. And she will always win. Happy birthday, our Queen. Thanks to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, you know, and hero. Indeed, my family, Harry is very much a hero who's done everything to protect his family. And uh, Darlene says, thank you, Brian. Love wins. Thank you, Brian. Love wins, you know. Patricia Ann says, happy, happy birthday, Princess Megan. God's just blessings to you. Blessings upon blessings. We are praying for you and your family. Thank you, Patricia Ann. Indeed, indeed, very true. Thank you, Patricia. And, you know, my family, I can see a troll here. Let me just remove the comment. You know, let me just remove the comment from this troll. Yeah. Trolls are not welcome here. You know, you should go to Piers Morgan or Dan Woodrow's page there. You know, or to the pages of the royal family, William and K. Morton. You should live here. Trolls are unwelcome. Here, only love wins. Here is about love, not hate. It's about love. That's what that's what we are about. That's who we are. About love. 
Now, someone else says that, uh, Brian, God bless you on this channel. Happy birthday, Duchess Megan. Thank you, Mama Jane. Thank you, Mama Jane. Thank you so much, Mama Jane. May God bless you immensely as well. You know, thanks, Brian. More love, says Joy Zhang. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. You know, and uh, my family also, I'm looking for the birthday comments. Beam says, Happy birthday, Megan. We love you. Yes, indeed. We love you, Duchess Megan. Continue to heal my Duchess. Happy birthday. Lona Murray says. Thank you, Lona Murray. And once again, may God bless you immensely, Lona Murray. Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I really, really like this. I like the, the comments. It's just really, really beautiful. And um, Megan is an amazing, amazing woman and may she know just how much we love her support her 100 mrs s says happy birthday that is megan ella Gulli says happy birthday princess megan lakiva says um happy birthday megan you know essie happy birthday megan also you know once again my family we are seeing you know someone called you know ivy says happy birthday princess megan the Lord Jesus, continue to cover you. And amazing family. Amen. You know, someone called, you know, Ivy Lesquez. You know, thank you, Ivy. Thank you, Ivy. Let me just say Ivy. Thank you, Ivy. And um, Keleve says, happy birthday, Duchess Megan. Once again, happy birthday, Megan. Cynthia Daisy says, happy birthday, Princess Megan. Thank you. Elegant says, happy birthday, Duchess Megan. Joanne Louis says, happy birthday, Megan. We love you. Indeed, we love you very, very much, Megan. We respect you very much and we wish you all the best in the world, Megan, because you deserve the best in the world. And someone else says that, Kupoy says that, happy birthday, Megan. God bless you. And may your day be filled with love and happiness. Thank you also, Paulette, for that. You know, my family, we have such an amazing family. We have such an amazing family. And uh, I deeply say thank you. I deeply say thank you to to what, you know, to, every this, uh, to all these messages of support towards Megan. And we all love Megan here and wish them wish her and Prince Harry and Archie and Lily Bedana to live a happily ever after life. And it is high time that once again, the British media, Leave Megan alone and let her live in peace. They need to leave her in peace and let her live in peace and leave her alone. They need to leave her, Prince Harry, Archie, Lily Bet alone. You know? The thing is, you know, UK media always want to say that they're angry because Harry left. And I keep saying this. If you truly cared about Prince Harry, you would never have gone after the woman he fell in love with, Megan. Never. It is not up to Prince William or Charles or Kate or Camilla who Harry marries. It's not their choice. My family, we live in a different kind of century. Whereby, my family, you are the one who decides who you marry. Even if Harry is my family, the son of King Charles now, even if he's the son of the king, Harry also has a right to decide who he wants to marry. And my family, he married the woman he loves. It's not up to you to love her. It's not up to Charles or William or Kate to come here to love Meghan. It's up to Prince Harry. And if Prince Harry, as we've seen him do, he clearly loves his wife, then my family, others to respect the woman he loves, the mother of his kids, which is what William, Charles, Kate, Camilla have failed to respect. Yet, when William and Kate were getting married, Prince Harry was the number one supporter, supporting William and Kate Milton. But then when time came for them to reciprocate what Harry did for them, they did not reciprocate my family. They did not reciprocate. Instead, they are the ones who are extremely abusive towards Meghan. You know, yet Harry gave William and Kate all his support. You never had any issues that Harry had. On William and Kate's wedding. But from Spare, we read how William made Meghan cry. We can read how William bullied Meghan. 
Read how Kate lied that Megan had made her cry. You know, it was her who made Megan cry. We learn how Charles also abused Megan. The point that Prince Harry had to intervene and say, don't you ever speak about my life that way. You know, indeed, there are many things that Megan has not said. And maybe that's why the farm are really afraid of what Megan can say. Because really they must have harmed her so badly that even now she continues to heal. It must have been really, really terrible. And you wonder, and they wonder why Megan won't set foot in the UK after UK media and the farm have been inciting hatred towards her. Megan, may you protect your peace and your happiness. And don't let anybody destroy the joy that you have, Megan and Harry. Don't let anyone destroy the joy and the happiness that you have. And you know just how much you, Harry and Megan, are so loved, admired, and immensely, you know, respected. You know? My family, Lalita Rosenberg says, Happy birthday, Megan. Marilyn says, you know, Happy birthday, Megan. God bless you and your family. Indeed, very, very true. May God bless you, Megan. Megan really is a strong woman, said Kiki. You know? Thank you, Kiki, also. My family, I can see many, many people wishing Megan happy birthday and thank you for all your birthday wishes. And Harry's birthday is also next month. So next month also, we're going to be singing happy birthday to Prince Harry. Happy birthday to you, Megan, right now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. And may Harry Megan always spend their birthdays with those who love them, my family, each other, and also their kids. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Bertana and Doria Raglan. And all of you, members of the he never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. This is a passion cake. And my family, you know, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support of Harry and Megan. Thank you for supporting me as well. Who's your support of me as well? Thank you so much, and uh, once again, may God bless you all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Megan, may you be happy forever and ever and ever. With your husband, Harry, may you both be happy. And may no weapon formed against you ever prosper. Protect each other, love each other, and your kids. Harry Megan, what you're building is incredible. It's incredible. And you're creating a safe environment for your kids and for you, for yourselves. And what you're doing is incredible. Harry Megan, one of the reasons why you're facing so much pushback from the abusers is because they don't want you to create a healthy environment for your family. UK media exploit the dysfunction that exists in the royal family. You know? And Harry and Meghan are people who are breaking that cycle. And of course there will be pushback. Of course there will be attacks, which we've seen for, for all these years right now. Which continues even to this day, my family. I've seen Harry and Meghan even being, being, being threatened in my family. By UK media, by pulling power. And my family, despite that, Harry and Meghan keep protecting each other. Your love is strong. Your love is beautiful. Just being united, you are powerful. And they know it. Look at me, they know it, my family. The farm knows it. And that's why, that's why they target your marriage. Because they know how powerful you two are together. Don't let them break you. Don't let them destroy you, Harry Megan. And be the ones who break that cycle of suffering for the sake of Archie and Lily Pedana, for, for, for your own sakes. Protect your own lives, your own future. Harry and Meghan, don't let anyone destroy your lives or your future or the future of your kids. Protect it, Harry and Meghan. Protect it. You know? Protect it. And as you always pray every day, may no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and Lily Bird, Diana, ever prosper. You know? Stay tuned to this video. Love you. Awesome forever. And may God bless you all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Megan. Happy birthday to you. Hello, members of Zizi Kapami TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustice. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love family, always and forever. Sayonara.